Hey, this is Bill here. I want to talk to you today about the Big Dog Ultra Excursion Conversion. Basically taking your excursion, what's involved in taking your excursion, like the one behind me, I just bought over the weekend up in North Georgia. Man had started the project on it, had something wrong with the motor, pulled the motor out, and then it sits for two years, and, you know, he loses the, the burn, the desire to get the job done. Anyway, I got a good deal on this one. It's 2003 4x4, four four, extremely, extremely clean, rust-free body. It's XLT. You're probably going to see it in the for sale list here in the next couple weeks. This video is about converting your excursion to a big dog ultra. But before we go there, we've got a couple things to talk about. Number one, y'all need to see the new website, okay? It's a mobile friendly website, okay? Works on the phone, okay? It's us old people, that's a big deal, you know what I'm saying? We're back, you know, when phones used to bling bling, okay, and you had actually had a cord attached to it. That's where I grew up. My mother would throw it at me and she had a cord so she could reel it back, you know? You try to beat your kids with an iPhone and see what happens. <laughs> You'll break the iPhone and piss yourself out because you just wasted $800 on beating your kids with an iPhone. Come on. You know, those old phones, woo, mama get real with those now. She put the hurt on you like boomerang on that ass. Oh, shouldn't have did that, you know. Check out the new website. It's a cool website, mobile friendly, beautiful. Also, if you, it, it, when you get on the website, you can submit your truck, a picture of your truck, uh, to to be on the calendar, 2020 calendar, need to check that out. Okay, uh, some of the photos that I've gotten are just unbelievable. This is incredible. Beautiful artistic photos with people's, with people's trucks. And then subscribe, and you'll be able to vote on which uh, trucks get to be on the calendar, on next year's calendar. Um, subscribe. So, what does it take to convert your excursion, okay, to a big dog ultra excursion? So what does a big dog ultra excursion look like? Well, this is an excursion frame that's ready to have your body set on it. Uh, I've been building these. We're a little bit slow right now. Uh, October is always a kind of a slow month for us, and then it goes nuts for November and December at the end of the year. This one's ready to have your body set on it. If your motor and transmission, it's a good. If your vehicle comes in in a good good shape, uh, you know when it's running, it's not the motor's not damaged. I can do this conversion for about thirty thousand dollars. I'll put your body on this frame, add the Michi motor radiator, add the edge tuning system, sit right on this. Everything's been painted, it's, it's all done, transmissions, low mile transmission, engines all rebuilt. This is a rebuilt engine. Uh, but for $30,000 I can do this. You come up with your own wheels because you have to go to different wheels. So the axles are different. Uh, these are market axles that we've gone through, uh, all resealed. Whole front end's been rebuilt. You have a new steering box. Everything's new. Everything's new. Just like you'd expect from an excursion that I would sell to a customer. The engine's all been rebuilt, new turbo, new injectors. You want to breathe some new life into your excursion, $30,000 we can do it. Might even be able to find you a good deal on some takeoff wheels here in Atlanta. You know, we have several dealerships that we buy takeoff wheels from. You know, when people buy a truck, they, they uh, get new wheels. Got a brand new Banks exhaust system on this, so this is not a California compliant truck. It's not California compliant. What a pain in the ass California is. We actually, when we do these, we convert these engines all to 2005 spec and up. Um, a lot of people don't know that, that six liters were produced all the way till 2010, except they weren't put in trucks, they were put in ambulances because they never could figure out how to shoehorn a 6.4 into an E chassis. So this is all 2005 spec, which means that there's a, it, it's this, this elbow uh, doesn't have a flapper in it. We just sent one out to California in 04 and we're actually going to have to convert it back to having a flapper in there. Even though the computer doesn't even actuate that system, it has to be there because uh, the uh, EPA Nazis uh, take offense to it. So this one uh, is not California compliant, but we can build you one. If you're from California, we'd be happy to do it for you. Look, this is the ultimate conversion right here for your excursion. No, it's not cheap, but you know what? They don't produce those trucks anymore. And if you want a nine-passenger vehicle that will pull 15,000 pounds, this is the only vehicle that can do that. Email me, Bill, at PowerStrokeHelp.com if you want a parts list of what's involved with a big dog ultra excursion conversion. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about uh, converting your truck. Uh, or if we have a frame like that already built, ready to go, waiting on a body, we'd be happy to plop your body on and send you on your way. It is absolutely the best money you can spend uh, to get your excursion up to the latest specification as far as suspension, because that suspension is converted to late model, all swing arm, coil spring, take all that, take all that leaf spring crap out of there, because it don't work real good.
when I was a kid, Hoss stuck to me. My, my uncles all called me Hoss uh, when I ran around with them. All the stuff we would do, go hunting or you know, go to the races or whatever. And so my name was Hoss from the time I was, I don't know, seven years old. That's what my name was. And so, you know, a few years ago, probably 15, 20 years ago, I, I went and put together the, the, the uh, costume as Hoss Cartwright. And, and I've, had, I've had a lot of fun with it. You know, Halloween is about some fun. You know, have a little bit of fun, take the kids, grandkids out, have a good time. Uh, but I'm a, I mean, right now I'm about, I don't know, I'm about 265. Uh, when I'm 315, I was 315 at one point, and uh, I was a dead ringer for Hoss. Uh, I just don't like being 50 pounds heavier than what I am right now. Uh, and, but it, I was dead ringer. And a couple years ago at SEMA, uh, you know, uh, SEMA's about this time of year uh, on Halloween, and I was out in Las Vegas, and it just blew people's minds. Uh, went to California, visit a friend, and uh, went to the Walk of Fame where, where Dan Blocker's name is hands and people just lose their minds. I mean, because I'm I'm that close to being Hoss Cartwright. Anyway, happy Halloween. Have a little bit of fun. Um, we're here. Beautiful Georgia, give us a call. We'd love to help you, you know, with, with whatever problems you're having with your truck. Give us a call, whether it's late model or early model. Sorry, don't work on any 6.4s, but there's a lot of 6.7 work right now that, that's centered around uh, exhaust problems. Make sure you don't ex ignore those exhaust problems on a 6.7 because you can burn the engine up. We've replaced many engines now. Uh, because on 150, 200,000 mile trucks where they just decided they weren't going to, you know, they were just going to ignore those exhaust problems. And the EPA has shut everybody down, so there is no DPF delete anymore. That is a thing of the past. The DPF delete is a dinosaur. I have no access to anybody who can do that. So we're going to have to live with this now. We're going to have to live with this exhaust situation on these late model trucks or keep your old stuff running. Whatever you need from us, give us a call, 770-931-4070, or email me, bill at powerstrokehelp.com. Be happy to help you any way I can. Happy Halloween.